what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty Hazy, I know it's cold outside, but will you please go for a walk with me? You gonna stay in bed? Where's your allegiance? My husband is laughing because he just set my chair up last night and a bird just decided to take a dump in it. So they got all this space to choose from. And they choose my chair. Nice. Come on, Hazel. You can do it, girl. She wanted. Hazy, come here. See, we, we're bringing your stroller. Look, we got your baby. We got oh, your stroller. got your bed and a stroller. Come on, girl. Come on. See, Daddy's setting you all up. Your foot and feet never need to touch the ground. Girl, you do know that's pitiful, right? You do know that dogs actually walk, right? Okay, is that better? Now can we go? <laughs> Let's roll, literally. So one site down from ours, it looks like we have some cabins for rent. So if you've got some family that aren't really into full-blown camping, um, this might be an option for you. So it's a cute little loop of all these cabins. If you have a big family, something to consider you can all get cabins side by side I can't speak for all of the cabins but at least this one appears to be ADA compliant has a nice little ramp in addition to the steps is it unlocked yeah. is it a cabin or is it just like one of those covered shelters uh, it's just a covered shelter. oh okay Oh, so yeah, this is, where was that? Oh, it does, it has a little loft. Yeah. How cute is that? Yeah, this is like a little shelter. Well, that's cool too. Okay, so this isn't a cabin. I feel like those are cabins, so there's like families there. Um, maybe summer cabins, summer shelters, or... She's just shaking away. She's what cold. is it, Hazel? Are you nervous? Are you nervous or something? Look at my husband breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> at 57 on our loop looks like a good sight. You have no neighbors. All right, babe, can you give us the stats on staying at Lake Livingston? How much it costs and how many uh, amps? Yeah, um, we got the Texas State Parks Pass, which is like $70 a year. And I think for these, since they're full hookup sites, I think it's 23 or $24 a night. Nice. Not bad. So, And then your park entry fee 
is always free because you have the pass. And I think there's a discount on the sites because of the pass. So, and if what's, you're in Texas, yeah, you know, you, and you're going to camp at state parks, it's a no brainer to get the pass. It pays for itself in like two trips. That's true. And what's the amp situation? Do they have 30 oh, and 50? Yeah, there's 30 and 50 amp sites where we're at. Oh, okay. So. So big RVs and Class A's can stay there, no problem. Nice. And so Lake Livingston, this is what, our second, third? Second trip to Lake Livingston. Second it's trip. Hour from our house. Really nice park. Very popular park in the summer. Hard to get into. That's true, which so. is why we're here in the winter. <laughs> yeah. <'cause> we, <laughs> are, we're, we don't like to yeah. be a people and kind of people. We were here in June, um, but it was, uh, we had a very, very hot summer this year, so. Now we're going to have a cold winter this year, it looks like. So <laughs> There's just no in between. Out, but There's no yeah. in between, is there? Yeah, it was nice. I mean, we. I think that was our last camping for the summer was the one we came here, like, in mid-June. So True. We usually park the camper in the summertime because it's just too hot in Texas. To, so are yeah. you more of a winter camper or summer? If you had to pick an extreme weather to camp in. What would you go for? I'd probably go for the summer still. Yeah, it get, it gets pretty darn hot, and especially if your AC can't keep up. But MacGyver over here knows how to fix that situation. We'll have to show you how he does that on another video. Yeah, but. we got a portable, pretty good sized portable uh, AC that I hook up, and it works really well. So. And a good thing about the camper that we have, and we'll do a camper tour one of these days, but. The reason we chose the camper we did was because of the big window. So wherever we go, even when we're camping and it's extremely cold, we can just sit there and look out that big window and it's just as good as sitting outside. Yeah, pretty much true. Yeah. So we're on some loop now, I guess. Nice little bridge here. They've got trails all through this park lake livingston just for reference for those who aren't from the area i'd say it's about an hour outside of houston northeast of houston and these sites are a little bit closer together that's okay people don't mind that sometimes you gotta take what you can get So here is where one of the park hosts are staying. Is this the same one that was here last time, or that was a different one you were talking about? Okay. And there are plenty of perks to being a, a park host for starters. Like if you're a full-time RVer, and uh, you can stay at a park for free in exchange for doing some volunteer work. So whatever needs to be done, whether it's work in the front gates or maybe uh, planting gardens, trees, what do you think? Yeah, it could be anything from you know, getting sites ready. Uh, yeah, making sure all the hookups work properly yeah, and stuff like that. Anything like that. And like you said, a lot of work of the, you know, making sure the trails are walkable, rebuilding some of the stone work if they need to. Just anything. That's true. <laughs> Working in the store, I guess. Oh, that would I would love that. I'd love to work in the store. There are lots of good walking trails. Um, it's a little wet because it rained a couple days ago, so I don't know how far we're gonna go on this one. But I'll try to insert a map. I'm still learning how to do this whole YouTube thing. So I'll try to insert a map so you can see all the different trails there are to walk. It does not like you getting behind <laughs> My little four-legged parole officer here does not let, like me to get too far away. I'm here, Hazel. It's all good. My hubby's from Colorado, so no matter how cold it is here in Texas, this guy is always going to wear shorts. And we're lucky that he even has a jacket on. Normally he doesn't wear a jacket either. Kitty, 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 kitty. That looks like our little kitty cat Bowie. So cute. 
I think where we cross right here. I think this is probably it, right? Where we crossed? Where we did oh, last the trail? Time. Yeah. Oh, or where we stayed last time. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I'm not very good at reading maps. I know that in the summer, Lake Livingston has a lot of activities going on, but it looks like even in the winter, they have some cool things. You got hot cocoa with Santa. Let's see. Nature craft activities, Christmas Eve around the campfire. Cool stuff. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back so- I'm gonna test out some water filtration systems Which I think the timing is perfect because you know, it's supposed to freeze here in Texas Thursday, and our grid, our pipes, don't really handle cold weather that well. So we were going to uh, test some things out, but it's cold, it's muddy here where we are, so... Um, but this is just a little PSA to make sure that you have some backup water filtration sources. So we have a, a Berkey at home, but this is more for kind of bug-out situations, so... The, this is the Catadine Be Free. Uh, this is a good product to consider putting in your uh, preps, your bug out equipment. We've got the Sawyer Squeeze. They've got the Sawyer Mini, and we just we have the regular one. But uh, you can attach it to the top of a smart water bottle, and it filters the water. Uh, you can just go up to your source, scoop it up, and then you have filtered water. We've got uh, a little thermometer here that's supposed to test the bacteria levels. We've got the Grail water bottle. We love the, this. You just, it's got the filter inside. You just scoop the water up and you push it down and it filters out all the dirty water. These are more like platypuses, survivor filter. Um, I don't personally think from the reviews that I heard that we're going to be using these very much unless you have a direct water source of dripping water that you could go stick this under. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to scoop. Um, and then the water drip. This too is like a bag that you can fill up and then um, I think it's got a straw or something that goes with it that you can attach to your backpack and just drink. Um, and then here we've got the last straw. So I guess we'll just be doing another video in the future on different water filtration systems, but do not hesitate to get these in your bug out bag. Oh, there's a squirrel. Hi, squirrel. <laughs> All right, so y'all take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Clearly, the squirrels around here must get fed frequently because they are not shy. This guy keeps standing on his back legs begging us to feed him. Hi, baby. I wish I had something for you. I don't have... He's just like a few inches away from Hazel. <laughs> Hazel's like, what the frick? That's a weird looking chihuahua. I wish I had something to give you, but I don't. Yeah, I don't have anything. Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand if you're ever in Livingston and you do what we do every time we go camping, we like to find a local coffee shop, you have to check out Bull Shack. It's got outdoor seating if you want to bring your pups. I guess it's pet friendly. But if it's not, they also have a drive-thru. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Is it? It's good. What are we doing? Oh. 
So what flavor did you get, Olivia? I, I wasn't listening. I think I got like a something sunny side up shell. <laughs> what but what is it? Oh, oh, okay, okay. It's, it's coconut, caramel, and like white chocolate or something like that. It's really good. It's very like salty. <laughs> but do you recommend not eating a candy cane right before yeah, you take your first yeah. sip? <laughs> I'm just very hungry and I saw the candy canes so I just ate it. <laughs> Little appetizer. And then I got the peanut butter and toasted marshmallow. I'm making Olivia taste mine. I was kind of going for the fluffer nutter vibe with the marshmallow and peanut butter. You don't know what a fluffer nutter is? A fluffer nutter sandwich oh, yeah, with the peanut butter and the, um, the marshmallow cream. This is so cute. <laughs> You found the elf? I did, and he had a piece of toast on him. That's cute. It's <laughs> cold outside, but I'm toasty. <laughs> if you're looking for some good barbecue, you got to check out the Hitchin Post. So, so cute. You can't miss the pig out front. They got all this little, little funky artwork, art deco. So cute. You just want to go now. Well, it's just done, I guess. Yeah, you don't want the cheese fries if it's like shredded cheese melted on it, or you don't care. Yeah. This place is so. Stinking cute. Oh, Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Love Uncle Si. This place is just too cute. Hazel, what do you think? You think you're cold, huh? You waiting for your food? Got my little space heater. Food is here. We got some fried okra. Some of the biggest onion rings I've ever seen. We got a two meat plate. And what's this? Cornbread or something? Poppers. Oh, jalapeno poppers. We got some beans and some potato beans, salad potato coming. Salad. Oh, it's over there. Mm -hmm. This place is a winner winner. Okay, Hazel, it's your turn to do a t taste test on the barbecue. Tell us what you think. I think she approves. Hey, Olivia, can you hand me a napkin? I can't reach. <laughs> Thank you. saw a bee. That is so cool. I love these guys. So cute. I could not resist their fresh homemade pie. So I got myself a piece of lemon meringue to go. And Corey is just waiting on his boo damn balls to go. Just waiting on them. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Oh, my little Olivia. <laughs>
so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what'd you get? Well, Corey should know better than to leave me with this. Credit Don't card. show the card number. <laughs> but it was only twenty three dollars, which is awesome because we got some cinnamon honey, and I got some honey sticks. I got lemon flavored, peppermint flavored, and I forget what the other cinnamon. One is. Lemon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. I don't know. I don't know. And then um, some face and hand cream. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. And then you got one. So all for 23 bucks. It's not bad. <laughs> well, there you go. Such an eerie feeling. We were just here a few months ago and this place was packed. And I think we're literally the only people in the park now. Except for that one guy over there. Smoking a stogie. Smoke, smoking a stogie. Kelly's out there looking for that squirrel. He's probably halfway to Houston by now. And of course, you're gonna hide behind a tree. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm filming her though. Yeah. Oh, fingers on it. There, Kelly found her squirrel. I promised him I would come back with food. There he is, he's chowing down. I felt bad being empty handed. It's this little guy right here, and then up in that tree. I'm gonna see if I can go feed him. Here you go. Here you go. Got it? Oh, he's so sweet. Let's go see if we can feed. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> and then let me see. No, nope, he gone. Come here, baby. He's looking, but he don't want he don't want anything to do with it. Okay, I would leave this for you, but I think your friend is gonna get it all. Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Gravity. Yeah. You got you got a shadow now. Uh oh, I got somebody following me. Can we do maybe a photo? You know how to get it on photo mode? No, how do you do that? Um look in the camera. Say hi to everybody. Hi everybody. Let's see. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, he was brave enough to come get some. Yeah. He didn't let his buddy eat it all. Okay, come here. What you want? What you want? Is it huh? gonna come up on the table or no? I don't know if you're learning. Come here. You might need to come walk over here by me. Where's he at? Oh, now he's taking way. off. Here comes the other one. He's not so shy now. No. Are you doing picture or video? Video. <laughs> that guy's up there. That's so cute. <laughs> Hazy nut, don't be jealous of those squirrels. You're still my favorite, Hazel. Don't worry. <laughs> Aside from the park coast, this place is a ghost town. We are by the park store and the observation tower. Man, this looks so much different than it did a few months ago when we were here. Oh, that's, oh it's the entrance to the trail yeah. and it looks like a little gingerbread house. How cute is that? And they've got all these cute little decorations. Oh, little campers. I love this. So cute. Little gingerbread men. Oh, it's just adorable here. 
all kinds of little photo ops to bring the kiddos. And the boat ramp. The boat ramp? Where's that at? Right there. Oh, okay. Over there. Did you need to go in the store? You don't? Okay. Let's go through and look at the dock yeah. behind it. Okay. This is so cute. Yeah, I hear a dog barking. Is that the park coast? Yeah. Got little restrooms here. And uh, here is one of their little convenience stores. I got the cutest space heater in the entire world. Hazy, are you having fun? Go back to sleep, baby. Tell us you're cold without telling us that you're cold. So let's see you. Do you hate your mom? Be honest. Do you hate me? <laughs> Hi, babes. There's three. three of them, yeah. Nice view. It's just this bud in my face. You got it right there? The one over here? I only see the one with this bud. Yeah, the one eating right here looking right at you. Thanks, besties. Uh, I mean, I just see the one with the butt. Oh, right I here. See. Wait, this thing is like all. Oh, there he is. Hey, guys. That's a good one. Oh, my God. You're so cute. Carry on. Sorry to interrupt dinner. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Here we are at the video, uh, the video, the uh, recreational center, where we noticed a cute little Christmas tree. There we go. And the hat came off, right, Hazy? So, what does a recreational center consist of exactly? This, isn't this a rec center or activities? Park events? Looks like they got something. Okay. Fun. Oh, there's somebody. Is it locked? It's locked. That's a bummer. Yeah, because they have a little uh, stairs where you step life, in. Life yeah, and the kayaks are somewhere. I'm kind of turned around. Uh, they're on that side. They're over there? Yeah. Setting trends. Pajama sheet. <laughs> Hazel's got her little pajamas on. Hazy nut. We hope you enjoyed our tour of Lake Livingston and we gotta get back. We gotta winterize the pipes back home, cover the plants and then go help a lady that you know we help out. So. Yeah, it looks like everybody else has the same idea that everybody we talk to is leaving early. We practically have the park to ourselves, and they were going to turn water off tonight anyway. Actually, I think around noon, he said. Oh, so. around noon, we'll be out of here. Yeah. But y'all take care. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next trip. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Uh oh, it's zoomy time.
by Lake Livingston. We'll see you in the summer. What's Daddy doing? Is he pulling that awning in? Is Daddy pulling that awning in? Can you say bye to everybody? We'll see them on the next trip.